Hello, I'm Dr. Moline. In this short surgical video, I would like to demonstrate how to use the Leone surgical kit, place an osteotomy in a model, and insert the implant and the steps involved in that process. Generally looking at the Leone surgical kit, we would normally start in a non-guided surgical placement by using the round burr in a surgical hand piece, running at about 1200 to 2000 RPMs, make a purchase where you'd like to place the implant with the round burr. Following the purchase of the, or following the, following the round burr, generally we would use the pilot drill, the 2.2 drill, and place a ringlet on the 2.2 drill. The implant that we're going to plan to place in this model is 4.1 millimeters in diameter by 10 millimeters long. So after placing a ringlet on the pilot drill, we would put it in the 10 millimeter length. That would give us our depth that we'd want to drill into the osteotomy site. Place that on the surgical hand piece and then find the purchase, hit the pedal, and slowly direct that osteotomy down to the depth stop, which is the 10 millimeter mark. So that would be our initial pilot drill. Since we're placing a 4.1 implant, we would use then the 2.8 drill and then eventually the 3.5 drill prior to placement of the implant. So the next step is to take the green colored 2.8 drill, put on a ringlet, Go to the 10 millimeter mark, place the depth in the handpiece, and then again take this to the 10 millimeter mark. And the final drill then would be for the 4.1 implant, the 3.5 millimeter diameter implant. Again, the ringlet on the drill, place it in the 10 millimeter length depth indicator on the drill, and then again take this down to the length of the osteotomy. So there we're set at length. So once the osteotomy is done, following along from left to right, we're placing a 4.1 diameter implant, 10 millimeters in length. So the countersink that we would use is yellow in color. Place it on the motor driven handpiece. Generally you would run this RPM at about 300 RPMs taking it down to the countersink line. The countersink just makes the top of the osteotomy slightly wider in the cortical bone area to give us what we need to place the implant. Following the osteotomy and the use of the countersink, the next step would be to take the ratchet and the tap and tap the osteotomy site if this was a dense bone profile in that site. Got that going the wrong direction so let me flip it over. So again the, the tap goes in a clockwise direction And then this tap scenario would be threading the bone and the tap has to be rotated in and then rotated back out of the osteotomy. Alright, so we've done our osteotomy, we've tapped or threaded the site and the next step then would be to take the implant, remove it from the 
packaging. Reduce the rotation of the motor down to around 25 RPMs. Decide how you're going to place the implant. And the implant can be placed in several ways. If you want to use hand driven, you can attach this to your implant, your thumb knob, and place it that way. Simply remove it from the container and screw it into the astyotomy site. Another option is to use the hand piece, which is the one I prefer. Put on your hand piece adapter, attach your implant to the hand piece adapter, and rotate it out of the carrier. You'll also notice on this carrier the cover screw is attached as well. So if you're going to do a second stage surgery, this cover screw will be placed after the implant is seated. You'll also notice since this is a implant without a screw, the carrier or the transfer is attached to the implant by a ringlet that holds the two pieces together. You'll also notice on this ringlet that when this yellow carrier gets driven up to this line above the yellow carrier, it will have the implant placed at the crest of bone. So we'll drive the implant in the site. When this ringlet moves from where it is up to the line just above it, we'll know then that the implant is at crest of bone. And that's where we'll stop the placement if that's our desired depth. So in, again, in the model, let me position it here so that you can see it a little bit better. Implant gets positioned into the implant site. Hit the foot pedal and watch this implant rotate into the osteotomy. And as that yellow ringlet hits the site, it'll move up to where it's at crest. And you can see that it torqued out. And then again, look at the implant, and it is placed at the crest of ridge. And that is now an implant that's seated. If you desire to drive it into the osteotomy further, you could certainly attach the hex driver into the implant, grab your ratchet, and potentially turn this implant in even further with the driver. Once the implant is placed, you have two choices at that point. You can do a single stage surgery and place the healing cap, or you can place the cover screw that came with the implant packaging. If you want to place the cover screw and do a two stage surgery, the instrument to place the cover cap is located here. It's threaded on the end. Simply rotate this in a couple turns. Pull the cover cap off of the carrier. Insert it into the implant site. Just by pushing it down, rotate it counterclockwise. And now you have your cover cap placed on the implant. When you do the second stage surgery then, you simply remove that cover cap by inserting the same tool, turn it a couple times clockwise to engage it, and pull it out of the implant itself. At that point, if you want to place the healing cap, healing cap comes packaged looking like this on a metal connector. Simply insert the healing cap into the implant until it seats, and then rotate the connector off of the implant and then you'll have your healing cap in position. This can be tapped into place with a mallet or an instrument to assure that it's fully seated. And that is a summary of how non-guided surgery would be done with the Leone implant system. Thanks for watching the video.